I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I just wanted to come on and do this quick video to show you where Alfie is today. She is hanging out on top of my cousin Brittany's hat. Um, this is the hat that Brittany used to wear to work when she worked at the movie theater. And there's a picture of her there held by a monkey. There's a little monkey there. And then up here, Chloe is holding on to Comet. So, super cute. But, um, so today I, um, just went to the drop-in center with Margaret. It was pretty fun. Um, but it was pretty crazy. I don't know what was up with that, but the center was super chaotic and busy today. Um, they have, like, a max of, like, I think, like, 50 people that are allowed in, but it seemed way more than that. <laughs> Um, and then I came home to find some birthday mail. So I got a beautiful birthday card from my mom. And it's a long, long card, but I read it and it's beautiful and it made me cry. <laughs> I just get so sappy this time of year, guys. Um... And then I got a birthday card from my mentor. And inside of it was a gift card for Indigo Bookstore. And I'm not sure exactly how much is on it because it just kind of gives a range of what you can put on the card. So I guess I'll have to find out when I go in the store. But I think she usually sends me $50 for my birthday on gift cards. So I'm assuming it's that. And this is really cool because um, our two of our Indigos here in Toronto have an American Girl Boutique. And since I have a Kindle, I don't really buy actual books in the bookstore anymore. So I think I'm going to save this for the American Girl Boutique because... Last year, Margaret's mom actually gave me a Indigo card for Christmas. And at the time, I didn't realize that I could use the Indigo card on the American Girl stuff um, in their boutique there until I had already spent it on a Robert Munch book, <laughs> which I actually read today for the first time with Margaret. It's called Finding Christmas. It's really cute. Um, so I mean, it was a good buy anyway, and, um, I also had bought, um, the skirt for our elf, um, for Elfie, so, you know, it's okay, but I would have preferred to have used it for American Girl when I went for the Girl of the Year reveal, so I'm planning to go to the Girl of the Year reveal again this year, so I am gonna save this for that, so I got that. And we got another Christmas card in the mail from Alex's aunt who lives near us. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's just been a relaxing evening. I just wrapped Margaret's gifts and I'm all ready to go for tomorrow. So actually tomorrow, because I'm getting out of work early, I believe I'm getting out at 1.00. Um, so because of that, um, my dad is going to be coming over here in the afternoon when I get home, um, to visit me for my birthday. He's going to bring my, um, birthday card and gift and we're going to just hang out here for a bit and that's pretty much it. So, and then I have to talk to my mom probably tomorrow about our um, trip
trip to the Christmas marketplace on Thursday for my birthday. So lots of stuff going on and yeah. And then Friday I'll be home. I think I'm gonna, I have laundry that I have to get done and I got to get all of the stuff packed up to ship. And then it'll be time to start wrapping gifts for our family and friends and I can get them under the tree. I always love seeing all the presents under the tree. So that'll be cool. And um, yeah, so that is what's happening. And I forgot to show you guys that I grabbed a new Christmas ornament. I have a few new Christmas ornaments this year. and. I'll go through them soon in a video, I promise. But I wanted to quickly show you this one um, that I found at the dollar store and it's a little countdown. So I've got that countdown going too. It's a little Santa and it's wooden and it was only $2. So that was a cool find. So anyways, let's get to our advent calendar. Okay, so. Let's see, um, we opened, yesterday we opened 19, I believe, yep. So, we gotta open 18. Um, let's see, it's way at the top here. I have had crazy bad heartburn all day, guys, because... <laughs> I have my Fitbit with an alarm to go off at 4 o'clock in the morning to wake me up to take my early, early morning pills that I have to take like hours before breakfast. <laughs> and I remember it going off and I remember me tapping it to turn it off. And then I must have just rolled over and went back to sleep and I didn't take my pills. And when I woke up to get up, I realized I well, I couldn't really remember if I had taken them or not, so I didn't want to take them in case of double dosing. So I was like, oh, well, if I miss it, I miss it. Well, one of those pills um, is my antacid pill. Um, it's like a, it's a strong one. It's called Losec. And I take it every single day to prevent heartburn from happening because prednisone um, and I guess some of the other medications can irritate the stomach and cause that. So <laughs> I didn't take it today and woo, I have had heartburn all day long. And so on my way home, I just, before I got on the subway, I ran into the grocery store to their pharmacy section and I found like a little tiny roll of like Rolaids and I have been taking them like all night and it's still not going away. So not fun. I'm going to have a big glass of milk before I go to bed and hope that that helps for the night because it's too late for me to take low sec now. It's just too late because I have to take it at four in the morning. So that's too close together. <sighs> so I don't know how it's going to go because I know laying down makes heartburn worse for me so we'll see what happens but anywho let's get to this chocolate yeah I'm pretty sure that's an Anna what do you guys think I'm seeing two braids there one coming down here and one coming down there finally an Anna Yay! Thumbs up! Woohoo! Thumbs up for Anna. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So guys, that means there's 17 days till Christmas. Wow. 17 days. Holy moly. Where's the time going, guys? It's too quick. Too quick. But um, here's the dilemma. I was freezing earlier, so I put the hallway rad heater on and the bathroom heater on. 
and so now I'm boiling. <laughs> it takes me so long to warm up, and then when I finally do, I'm boiling. So, <sighs> the struggle is real. <laughs> um, the joys of winter. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. And um, that's it. I get six weeks off as of tomorrow. Woohoo! Yay! So, uh, yes. I can't wait to get all my gifts wrapped. I'm hoping that I can get together with some friends. Um, I got to get together with my friend Paula. Um, hopefully Emily, I believe, will be after Christmas. We were talking tonight. And I want to Skype with my friend Yvonne. Hey, Yvonne. We're going to Skype soon. And I'm hoping to get together with my friend Marilyn. Um, I know we had talked about going to Vaughn Mills Mall, and I would like to go there. Um, so... We'll see. I've got two weeks till Christmas to get, make all that happen. <laughs> and um, my massage is next Wednesday. Oh, I can't wait. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to take my sleeping pill with a big old glass of milk and head off to bed. So um, I don't think I'm going to edit this video tonight because I just want to get to bed. So I'll probably edit it when I get home from work tomorrow. So it'll be up a little bit late, but it will be up tomorrow. So yeah. All right. Christmas marketplace on Thursday. I'm excited. I haven't been to it before. Um, so it's in the distillery district though, which is a really cool area. And I don't know if I've ever shown you guys on video before, but it's a really cool area. I actually used to work in a daycare near there, which was a horrible daycare, but um, the area is really cool. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a good night. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Riley, do you want to say bye? Or are you already sleeping? Yeah, he's already sleeping. Meow. So I glued this foam uh, stocking on the front of construction paper folded in half. These were stickers. And then we glued this one that said Merry Christmas. Glued some cotton along the top of the stocking and then decorated it with confetti. We've got um, like poinsettias, angels, snowmen, Santas, Christmas.